For me, mathematics was always fascinating because it was a subject where you really didn't need to learn things by heart. You really had to understand. I was very passionate about uh, learning and doing well in exams. But I also had fun. I was a tomboy and my family was a little worried. But they encouraged me. My area is at the intersection of algebra and number theory. Using algebraic techniques to study very deep questions in number theory. I had a very good mentor who was very understanding of the problems that women might face and especially when they are passionate about their work and they have to be focused on the work-life balance. I've been diagnosed with a form of brain cancer and I had to undergo emergency surgery a couple of years back. That was the biggest barrier I would say. It used to be quite common for the male groups to hang around together. Or men would just go, let's say in the evening, they'd go for a drink. And it's an extended form of professional communication that would seep into this. And you're judged as if you were part of that professional conversation. I am a passionate believer in diversity at the workplace, not just in science, but in all endeavors. If we do not have diversity, then the problems, the full set of problems are never captured. In a country like India, I find it especially disturbing that parents are afraid when their daughters do very well in school because they see it as a possible hindrance to their marriage prospects. My advice to young girls and their parents would be to have full trust in themselves, full confidence. You know, I'm always amazed by how surprised people are when a woman speaks about science with passion. And I want to tell them it's the most natural thing. It's just that women haven't been given a chance to speak about it with passion. Mm -hmm.